Hi learners and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be chatting quickly about histograms just so you can understand what the difference is between a histogram and something like a bar chart. So first things first, on the left hand side we'll see what a histogram looks like. It looks similar to your bar chart and your bar graph. However, even though it has the same characteristics as a bar graph, the big difference is that there are no gaps between the bars. So you can see here absolutely no gaps and there's a reason for that. This is because we are dealing with continuous data, which is often grouped in intervals. And here you can see arrivals per minute and in the frequency uh, within those minutes. So please, this is the difference between a histogram and your bar chart. And here you can see your bar chart We're dealing with here, for example, China, USA, France, the UK. And we can see the gaps because this is only dealing with China, only dealing with the USA, whereas your histogram, like we said, deals with continuous data. So let's look at a few examples of, of questions so that you know you can just broaden your understanding. So here we have a histogram showing us frequency and the class intervals um, moving on this particular axis over here. And you might get something like this in an uh, exam or a test situation. And they might ask you, based on this, what is the frequency of the class interval 15 to 20. So here we see our class interval 15 to 20 and we can see then that that frequency is going to be 25. Okay so that's fairly straightforward as a question. The next one what is the class intervals having the greatest frequency? Okay so which which one of these intervals has the greatest frequency? We can see over here it is our 20 to 25. Okay so we're not going to say what the frequency is, we're just saying the class interval. And then the last one, here we see what is the cumulative frequency of the class interval. And you can see interval uh, 25 to 30. That means because we're dealing with continuous data, we'll have to take all of these into account up to and including the 25 to 30. So when we look at the 10 to 15, that frequency is 20. The next one is 25, so we'll have to take the 20 and add it to the 25, so that gives us 45. Then we have to take the frequency of the next one, the next class, and that's 30. So now we're dealing with 75, and then we've got to add it to our last class in that range, and that's the 25 to 30, and that's going to be 15. And that gives us an answer of 90, okay? So please take that into consideration. Remember, we are talking about continuous data. And this is then the difference between our histogram and our bar graphs. Hope this clears it up for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Uh, but thanks so much for watching.